video, I'm going to show you how to interpret an audiogram, which is the graph showing the results of the pure tone hearing test. This is a comprehensive test to quantify your hearing range. The audiogram illustrates the type, degree, and configuration or pattern of a hearing loss across the speech spectrum. It also shows the percentage of normal conversational speech that you're still able to hear. Across the top, you'll find the frequency or pitch of sound in hertz from low pitch bass tones to high pitch treble tones. On the vertical plane, you'll have the intensity or loudness of the sound measured in decibels from soft to loud. The responses for both ears are recorded on the audiogram. Red circles represent the, the right ear's responses and the blue X's are used for the left ear. The symbols above the 20 decibel line represent normal hearing sensitivity and below are abnormal responses which are then classified as mild, moderate, severe, or profound degrees of hearing loss. The pattern or configuration of hearing loss and degree are recorded on the audiogram. For example, as the frequencies increase, the hearing abilities or acuity may decline. In this case, your hearing might be normal in the low frequencies, while you have a hearing loss in the high frequencies. You would then be classified as having a high frequency hearing loss. You might hear speech, but it would sound muffled and unclear. With this pattern, you have poor hearing at some frequencies, but not all. If you have hearing loss at all frequencies, you might have difficulty hearing any speech. You see, the low frequencies relate to hearing vowels or low frequency energy like a man's voice and the high frequencies relate to hearing or perceiving consonants, as well as women's or children's voices. The consonants provide us with speech discrimination and clarity. This is why most people with this pattern of hearing loss would complain about being able to hear people talking, so hearing the vowels, but not always understanding them, missing the consonants, and this relates or leads to misinterpretation. Examples are dime versus time, or sit and fit, so or show. After your hearing test, your audiologist will relate your results to your individual concerns about your hearing. So now you know how to interpret an audiogram. If you have any questions or to schedule a free hearing evaluation, please call our office at the number below. And for more videos and helpful hearing information, visit our website at hearingadoctors.com. Thanks for watching.